the assumption of the t test is that the population follows normal distribution that means i can say over here that say x follows which is a population follows a normal distribution with maybe some mean and some sigma square this t statistic t which is equal to x bar minus mu naught or maybe mu divided by s upon under root of n follows a t distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom let's suppose that this is that particular t distribution as far as our problem of the previous video is concerned the t statistic has been evaluated as minus 7.241 well this is say suppose a curve of t distribution now over here in our problem n was uh, 30 so obviously degrees of freedom will be 29 n minus 1 degrees of freedom so assume that this is the curve of t29 now considering this well we first of all should see the rejection region of our problem here we first of all require to find critical region or rejection region the critical region can be considered as area under the curve at the left tail and the right tail totaling to alpha now over here I am considering alpha as say 0.05 this being a symmetric curve I can say that this is alpha by 2 this is alpha by 2 so actually the area under the curve this may be 0.025 and needless to say this also will be 0.025 first of all we need to find these two values let's see that now considering our python code over here I am calling the function ppf from the module stats.t and over here you will find that I am having a critical value calculated this is that value which has been calculated well so this critical value is uh, let's let's mention it over here it is 2.045 <coughs> hence what we are able to say over here is area of this shaded region basically is uh, 0.05 yes it is and this shaded region is uh, called is called rejection region or it is called critical region and the value minus 2.045 is a critical value for this rejection region means what means if our test statistic falls in the rejection region we reject H naught basically what is the idea behind that let me tell you that if under H naught our mu our H naught which is uh, mu is equal to mu naught well if mu would have been equal to mu naught then this t value could have been near to zero okay if this t value could have been near to zero let's not assume that it will be perfectly zero because this is a sample value so we give some particular some particular uh, limits to it and those limits are critical limits and those those limits we have given at 0.05 level of significance as 
uh, minus 2.045 and a positive counterpart of it. Well now if the t statistic lies in between these two values then we may say that h naught may be may not be rejected okay okay but over here we see one thing that this t statistic value is very much inside the rejection region it may be if you try to locate it it may be somewhere maybe it may be here somewhere okay so by that particular logic we can definitely say that we reject basically H naught at 5% level of significance well over here let me tell you that if you have alpha as a uh, uh, alpha is 0 0.01 then the values over here will will be changing accordingly and critical value also will be changing also let's now see how these uh, two methods namely rejection region approach and p-value approach we will see how these ap two approaches are related to each other well in the rejection region approach as we saw that we first of all find the rejection region and after finding the rejection region we locate the test statistic whereas in p-value approach what we do is we locate directly the the particular test statistic and find the area under the curve well what you see over here is that if you try to locate both the critical value as well as the test statistic you will surely find one thing that in the rejection region already the test statistic lies anyway and you see if the p value which is the this this particular red region which which i am indi i have indicated is basically the alpha or alpha by 2 value and this particular this particular end you see which is to the tail of that statistic is basically the p value so we see one thing for sure that our p value is uh, less than that alpha or maybe i can say that p value by 2 for uh, for two tailed is less than alpha by 2 so hence even if we adopt this p value approach of p value less than alpha then reject h naught then still that will be fine 